with Coach Stutzman, Mac tournament, the eve of it, and uh, getting your guys all all worked out, getting them down to weight. But uh, I've been saying it for the last couple weeks. I only think there's two teams that can win the MAC: Buffalo and Kent State. When I make a statement like that, I know you want to probably reach to the camera and punch me, but the reality of it is, you know, what does Buffalo got to do to to get where they need to be? Well, we got to we got to wrestle hard and perform uh, to our capabilities. Um, there's been bigger upsets in the sporting world before. You know, so I kind of kind of motivating the guys by that way a little bit. We're trying to get some guys to Oklahoma City, but at the, at the end of the day, if they wrestle hard, they take care of their business, we're going to get guys to Oklahoma City. You know, I look at guys who are fringe guys, 184, I think that's the guy. Soria, 25. These are guys, you know, I look at those guys, and to me, if you have two qualifiers at the end of it, uh, that wouldn't surprise me at all. Those guys are pretty tough. What do you guys got to do to, to get your one and, you know, build off getting one and build off the momentum? I think Max Soria's wrestling as good as he has all year, so I'm really excited about his progress. I'm excited about 33. 133 won six matches last year. He's 113 this year. You know, they're taking top five there, 133. So I think he could potentially be in a mix. Uh, Nick Flannery, he could beat anybody on any given day in any weight class in the country. So we're excited about him. Uh, it's a great tournament. You know, it's a, it's a big difference from the EWL. There's no doubt. Uh, the, the conference as a whole is, is, is tremendous. Um, but you can't overlook some other guys. Wally Maziarz are taking top five at 157, too. They're taking, you know, top three at 184 right now. So, and Tony Locke's in the mix. And Angelo Malvastuda, depending on where we sit in that bracket, it's going to be in the mix, too. So, you know, and, and I'm not selling those other guys short. You know, the goal is to get 10 guys to Oklahoma City and, and get some All-Americans. 184, you know, there's been some scratches at 184. I've heard of another one recently, but there's there's two guys who qualified spots who won't be in at 184. What do you say to Locke tonight? Well, you just got to perform. You know, he got to he he has to. He feels good. His weights his weights in check. Uh, he, he's going to perform. He's always won on the on the highest level, and he's ready to go. And uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. I I'm really excited to see uh, the this league. Uh, uh, the league as a whole together, you know, all year. So I, it's going to be a great, great day tomorrow. We're, we're ready. I can promise you that we're ready. It's been a rough season for you. You know, you leave a top 25 team behind. I've seen Bloom all over this year. Right. And they've just had a dynamite year. And we've, you know, I've asked you the question before. Yeah. How hard is that seeing that? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's good for the guys. You know, I, I follow those guys. Those guys text me, call me, tweet at me, you know, so I follow their progress, and those guys are doing an unbelievable job, and I'm happy for Jason Messer and his staff. Uh, you know, but at the end of the day, I chose to come to the University of Buffalo for a reason. Um, Danny White and administration here at the University of Buffalo, they're, they're, they're putting a championship um, athletic department together, and, and that's, what I, that's what I envisioned. That's why I came here, and, and we got the resources and the money and the facilities to be a top-10 team in the country, and, and that's why I came to Buffalo, and it's an exciting time. And if you look at it as a whole, our recruiting class, is, our recruiting class right now is dynamite. They're doing an unbelievable job. Um, everybody's placing high in their state tournament, so future looks very, very good. And, and But on these guys, we got in our team uh, we're excited about those guys too your life has been absolutely bananas in the last 12 months you get this job you know nine months ago yes and then you have a son five months ago you know i look at your life in the last you know last year of your life right. has been crazy john what's life been like and you know you got a great wife what's life been like uh, you know it's been great you know i don't sleep much you can see i, I uh, it's been good though i've the my, my family is first and foremost in my life my kids i love them um but I live in the office, you know, we live in the office and uh, I spend a lot of time away from home recruiting this year. And, uh, you know, first and foremost, when we get back from the national tournament, then I got to spend some family time. I think that's important. But uh, my life's been in a whirlwind. It's been a great, it's been great this year. And just looking forward to it. They're coming to support us tomorrow, my family. So it's going to be a good day. All right, coach, you got anything else for me? We're, we're not dead. We're, 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 we're going to be in a mix and I don't know how, but we're going to compete at the highest level that we possibly can. We're going to get the most out of our guys and uh, the potential is there. So we're excited about tomorrow. Good luck, Coach. Thank you.